Hey guys, it's David here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to concentrate hydrogen peroxide into a 35 or above solution. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some 3% hydrogen peroxide. You know, you can just get it at a grocery store or a medical supply store. Or And what I use is 100 millimeters of it. I'm just going to transfer it from the graduated cylinder into the beaker. As seen. And then I have a lit alcohol burner. And I'm going to place the beaker on the alcohol burner. As seen. Now what you want to happen is you want... It would be much better if I had a hot plate, but I'm actually getting one soon but right now I currently do not have a hot plate. So what you want the solution to do is steam, but you don't want it to get to a boil. And if it starts boiling, you just want to pick up the flask at the top and just spin it around. And I'll be back when we get it done. Now you want that 100 milliliter line to probably get down to the, I'm not sure if this can show up on the camera, but the 100 millimeter line to get down to the 50 millimeter line. So I'll be back when that gets done. Now it's been about, I don't know, 30 minutes, hour 45, and uh, it's done. It is now down to 50 millimeters, and I've been letting it sit here for a few minutes, you know, just to get it all cooled down. And so we're going to do the math now to find out what concentration it is. So if I had, here, let me take the glove. I'll just switch hands. This. If I had 100 millimeters of a 3% solution, and I rolled that down to a 50 millimeter mark, as so it's about 60% concentration right now. Now this concentration, anything above 35, will decompose very, very quickly. Now I stopped that by putting it in a jar just like this so sunlight can knock it through. And then here there's actually a 51.4% concentration and it actually took me a while to make because this was my first second attempt at making it. So if you have any questions on this please just leave them in the comment section and this has been David with the channel Science 101. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly content. Bye!